Hello everyone, my name is Drew and welcome back to another episode of the How to Install LSPDFR 2021 update guide. I believe this is going to be episode 3 and then I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a realistic siren to your LSPDFR so you can get rid of that bog basic siren. Before we go any further, if you guys haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so since it really, really helps me out. And in the last, seven day, in the last 28 days, only 7% of you guys have been subscribed. So please be sure to subscribe. It takes 5 seconds. You can always unsubscribe later if I get a little bit annoying. But I'm sure I won't, and I'm sure you guys will be really excited because I've got a bunch of other tutorials in the future showing you guys how to install some really, really, really awesome mods. So the first thing you guys want to do on this video is click the link down in the description below. That's bringing you guys right here to the siren that we're going to be using to install. You can use any other siren. It does not matter if you do not like the sound of this one and you prefer the sound of another one, install that one, and it'll be the exact same. So what you guys are going to want to do is click the download link down in the description below or find yourself your own siren. Head down here to download this file. Make sure you're installing the latest version available to you. Click download, click here, and open the download up. Now, once this download is finished installing, all you guys want to do is find your vehicles and vehicles to OAC folder. Minimize out your browser or close it up to you. Grab both of these, get ready or read me, and drag and drop them onto your desktop. Now, what you guys are going to want to do is open up your Open IV. Go to Windows, let it start up, and then we are going to get into installing the actual siren. Once it opens up, there you go. What you guys are going to want to do now is go into edit mode in the top right. Go to mods, x64, audio, sfx, go down to resident to rpf, and then right click or left click up the top here, and then go to add to favorites, and then add this to a favorite and just call it siren. I already have this, so it's just going to probably give me an error or just replace it there you go so now i probably have two yeah brilliant but now i have two if you click it if you go from gta5 and you click it it should take you straight to the siren directory where we need to install it now with this vehicles to oac folder that we drag and dropped onto your desktop all you guys are going to want to do is drag and drop this into your game now if it wasn't on your desktop it's not going to find the audio files inside of vehicles inside this vehicles folder so do make sure that it is in and on your desktop once you've done that all you guys want to do is close out of this For some reason that took so long to open close out of that and just like so your sirens should be installed but what i'm going to do is i'm going to hop in game and just to show you guys that they are installed so hop in, in game here all you guys are going to want to do is turn on your sirens make sure that you have got a police car of course basic essentials turn on your sirens make sure your lights first of all are in code 3 otherwise your sirens won't work turn them on and you should be able to hear that just like that you have got Brand new, realistic police sirens in your LSPDFR. And trust me, they do really change the game. Obviously, this also does include an air horn. Pretty much every siren will also include a custom air horn, so do not worry about that. But just like that, you've now got custom LSPDFR sirens into your game. Very, very easy, very, very simple, and hopefully you shouldn't need to watch the tutorial ever again, and you should be able to do it all by yourself. But... Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you do not miss any more episodes from me on the 2021 update guide for LSPDFR. And I'll see all of you guys in the next one. So cheers and goodbye.